guys it's me um got my blog back yeah just want to uh want to say that but i also want to talk to you today about mugwort and why it's my favorite my favorite herb you know what i mean mugwort my favorite herb for many reasons um because i was always trying to learn how to be more intuitive more spiritual so mugwort will definitely help you out with that if you have that around you can have mugwort under your pillow it's just you know it's just something that you want to keep around but you definitely want to have it under your pillow to induce your psychic awareness and your dreaming lucid dreaming if you're into like dream magic um, match projection soul travel which are probably one of the two things i'm most interested in try to if you're trying to increase your your um divination like you know with tarot cards runes um anything like that in that nature just pretty much you know like fortune telling i hate that word fortune telling but um yeah you know what i mean just really trying to um increase your psych awareness mugwort is is the herb for you to use and so there's many other there's many other things out there besides mugwort um, a lot of people get mugwort confused with warm wormwood you know what i mean and they have a lot of the same principles the same things that you know that help people out with their psycho awareness but to me mugwort my favorite <laughs> and plus i've been smoking mugwort for a while here so um some people probably think i'm smoking weed and be like hey i'm not smoking weed i'm actually smoking mugwort you know what i mean you know back in the old wars um you know, sailors used to smoke mugwort. They call it sailor's weed. That's another thing, another, you know, fact for you guys about mugwort. Like some people say that mugwort has all these side effects. Um, one of the side effects I've seen that I, that I personally seen for myself is just my nose running a lot, you know what I mean? But I just feel like a mugwort is actually good for like killing and healing yourself, you know, from different types of things. So maybe it's just, making my white blood cells work a little bit more, I don't know. Um, also, it's also good for weight loss and it's also good for women's menstrual cycles. Um, you know, what they're saying with the side effects is saying that it's not good for uh, pregnancy. It's not really good for children. It can cause miscarriages and things like that. Um, again, I don't really believe everything I hear online. Um, everything that I recommend it just doing everything by trial and error. You know what I mean? Just figuring out yourself, you know what I mean? And see what happens, right? That's the only way you can really figure out things. It's also good for, good for, it's also good for digesting food and things like that. So if you're having issues and you use a lot of probiotic type of um, things when you're trying to eat, you can also put mugwort in that mix there. And I also, um, also did a live stream, like, I think it was last Sunday, a couple Sundays back. Um, yeah, that about my top, my top three favorite herbs. You know, I mean, my, my top three favorite herbs, which one of them is mugwort. One of them, one of them was dragon's blood. And the other one is, um, what did I say the other one was? I don't know. Well, you can actually just check it out. You know what I mean? It should be somewhere below this video. I put the link to that but anyways I hope you guys understand that I hope you guys understand that mugwort is one of those herbs that you want around you know what I mean it's definitely one of those herbs that you want around and I've been using this since the beginning of my spiritual awakening and I just thought I'd share this video with you guys today so again go to your your metaphysical store go buy you some mugwort um, I do recommend keeping it in a container not a bag you want to keep your herbs fresh keep it fresh so you can actually um you know preserve the life of it i really believe in that now because now that i have my herb my mugwort in the bag and it just it kind of like uh didn't have that smell to it no more so and again if you smoke it there's definitely nothing wrong with smoking i just don't recommend smoking it every single day due to the toxicity of two Joan, two Joan. So when you actually look up two Joan, it's, a, it's one of the chemicals that's inside of the mugwort. Um, and they say it's, it has some a toxicity level of it. So I don't, so if you smoke mugwort, I would do it every other day. 
And, you know, I mean, it's not like weed. It won't, it's not a hallucinogen. It's definitely not a hallucinogen or anything like that. But I do recommend just smoke it every other other day. But that's all I got for you guys. And I um, hope you got some information on how you can become more spiritual um, just by smoking mugwort, right? It's my favorite thing to smoke, right? Now, I did I did try with weed before, but um, but the thing is, you know what I mean? What I, what I did do with weed, you know, my hearing got very, 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 very um, my hearing was, I could hear like somebody down the street, all the way down the street. I don't know about you guys. I don't know if you smoke weed or anything, but for me, it just, it actually helped my hearing. It actually helped my awareness even more. So again, you want to experiment, mix this herb with other different herbs to see what it may help, may help you do. But, but yeah, but I might get out of here guys. So I hope you guys got some value out of it.